for today in mathematics and it's about solving quadratic equations by extracting square roots. At this time, we're going to find out the solution of our quadratic equations or in other words, we're going to find the possible values of x. And the process that we're going to use is by extracting the square root. Kailan ba natin siya ginagamit? Ginagamit natin ang Extracting the square root, so ang ating equation is in this form. x squared is equal to k. Now, let's find out the properties here. Number one, if k is greater than zero, then x squared is equal to k has two real solutions or roots. And that is x is equal to positive negative square root of k. So kapag mataas sa zero yung ating k, just like, like this one, square root of 16, obviously, ang answer natin dito ay dalawa. Okay, paano nga ba tayo magsusolve ng square root? Natatandaan nyo pa ba? So, sa pagsusolve ng square root, iisip tayo ng number na kapag tinimes natin sa sarili niya, eto yung magiging answer. 16 yung magiging answer. Ano kaya yung number na yon? Okay? So, ang number na pag tinimes natin sa sarili niya equal sa 16 ay walang iba kundi 4. Positive 4. Kasi 4 times 4, the answer is 16. Pero aside from 4, meron pang isang sagot. Kasi sabi nga, ba Greater than 0 to. Kaya may isa pang answer. Ano kaya sa palagay niyo yung isa pang answer dito aside from negative 4? Okay, the answer is negative 4. Remember, in multiplication of integers, ba Negative times negative, the answer is positive. Kaya negative 4 times negative 4, the answer is positive 16. Okay, so dalawa yung ating solution or answer in this um, square root of 16. Pero pwede rin natin siyang isulat or we write it as 1, like this one. Yan, positive and negative 4. So, ibig sabihin yan, dalawang number. Isang positive 4 and then isang negative 4. Another, if k is equal to 0, then x squared is equal to k has one real solution or root. Siyempre, kung halimbawa, square root of 0, obviously, ang sagot doon is 0. Isa lang ang answer. One solution lang. Number 3, if k is less than 0, then x squared is equal to k has no real solutions or roots. Ano ba yung mga numbers na mababa sa 0? Okay, yun yung mga negative numbers. So, kapag negative yung ating k, um, ang answer natin ay no real roots. Kasi nga naman, ba? like this one, square root of negative 25. Okay? Diba, diba yung negative 25, paano mo hahanapan ng square root yan? Kung 25, pwede. Kasi diba, ang square root ng 25 is 5. 5 times 5, 25. Negative 5 times negative 5, 25. Pero kung negative 25 to, hindi pwede. Kasi diba, ang magiging factor kasi nitong negative 25, isang positive and isang negative. So, hindi po pwede yun sa square root. Kaya pag ganito, lalagay na lang natin no real roots. Tandaan, pag negative, no real roots yung ating answer. Okay? Next, ang gagamitin natin is the square root method. The square root method is used in solving incomplete quadratic equations of the form x squared is equal to z when z is a non-negative number. So, ito na nga yung kanina pinakita ko, x squared is equal to to C or X squared is equal to K. Ang gagamitin natin sa pagsusolve niyan, kapag kaganyan na yung form niya, is yung square root method. Like this one. If U squared is equal to D, then U is equal to square root of D or U is equal to negative D. Negative square root of D. ba? Nakita natin positive and negative yung nagiging sagot niya. Or we write it as 1, u is equal to positive negative square root of d. So, yan yung property na gagamitin natin sa 
pagsusolve nitong equations by extracting our square roots. Okay, now let's find it out more in our examples here. Our example number one is this. Solve for the roots of x squared minus 25 is equal to 0. Sabi nga, di ba, kailangan ang ating um, form of equation is x squared is equal to k. Or yung c o yung constant term ay nasa kabilang side. So write the equation in the form x squared is equal to k. To do that, we will apply the addition property of equality. Ang inverse ng 20, negative 25 is positive 25. So, i-add natin yung positive 25 sa dalawang side. Ayan. So, ganyan yung magiging equation na natin. So, magiging 0 na tong negative 25 plus 25. 0 na. Tapos ito, 0 plus 25 is 25. Kaya x squared is equal to 25. So, tama na. Nakasulat na siya in the form of x squared is equal to k. Next, take the square root of both sides of our equation. I square root na natin yung both sides. Yung right side and left side of our equation. And then... Ang next step is isimplify na natin. Diba? Ano ba yung square root ng x squared? Ang square root ng x squared is x and square root ng 25 is 5. At makikita ninyo, dalawa yung sagot, positive and negative 5. Kasi diba nakita nga natin kanina na 2 ang possible uh, roots kapag ganito yung ating given, greater than 0. So, ihiwalay lang natin, x sub 1 is equal to 5, or ibig sabihin, yung isang root is positive 5, then the other root is negative 5. Let's have our second example. So, for the roots of 4x squared minus 81 is equal to 0. So, kailangan muna natin i-write ang ating equation in the form of x squared is equal to k. Kailangan maalis yung 81 papunta sa kabilang side. Kaya lalay, a-applyan natin ang addition property of equality. Okay, we add 81 to both sides of the equation kasi ang inverse ng 80, negative 81 is positive 81. Kaya magiging 4x squared is equal to 81 na. And then, kailangan maging x squared lang. Papansin nyo, may katabi yung ating x squared na 4. Kailangan natin ngayong i-divide both sides to 4. Okay, para matira lang si x squared. Okay, next. Simplify na natin. So, 4 divided by 4 is x squared. Tapos, 81 over 4. Ngayon, ano yung susunod na step after this? Ang susunod, we will um, square root both sides. Square root natin yung x squared, tapos i-square root din natin yung 81 over 4. At lagyan natin ng positive and negative para hindi natin makalimutan. Then, simplify na natin. Um, square root of x squared is x, and then square root of 81 and 4 is 9 over 2. So, positive and negative, 9 over 2. So, ito yung ating answer. X sub 1 is equal to 9 over 2. Then, X sub 2 is equal to negative 9 over 2. Sa nanggaling tong dalawa, pinaghiwalay lang natin yung positive and negative 9 over 2. Okay, pinag-separate lang. Okay? Now, let's recall the steps in solving quadratic equations by extracting square root, the first one, write the equation in the form x squared is equal to k. Then, apply addition property of equality or the multiplicative inverse property. Kailangan kasi x squared is equal to k, yung ating equation. Then, take the square root of both sides of the equation. Then, simplify. So, ganun lang. Kaya yan yung mga dapat nating tandaan sa pagsusolve ng quadratic equations by extracting the square root. Next time, or the next topic is about solving quadratic equations by factoring. Aside sa um, extracting the square root, pwede rin tayong mag-solve by factoring. So, see you again next time!